The Consumer Council found out that a significant number of retailers have been taking advantage of downsized products to conceal price hikes. Celine Chen tells us more. Shoppers might have to watch out the devil in the details as they go grocery shopping. The Consumer Council surveyed supermarket products around the past three and a half years and found that 62 products, including snacks, candies and daily necessities, had their volumes or weights reduced by 1.3 to 30 percent. Sixteen of these products thus see a price hike of 10 percent after the size reductions, with the highest reaching 26.2 percent based on the average per unit price. Kellogg's Frosties reduced its weight from 250 grams to 175 grams, although its retailing price dropped by $6, its price per 10 grams increased rather than decreased by 10 cents. Categorizing by products, the biggest size reductions were seen in candies, biscuits and snacks. For instance, Dryas Rocky Road ice cream was 50 milliliters less, and each M&M's peanut milk chocolate bag, which originally had 15 packs, now only had 13 packs. This man said he wasn't aware of the size reduction because the product's package was the same. This woman said the retailers should clearly state the volume or weight changes of goods on the packaging, calling the current exercise sneaky. Some retailers explained to the consumer watchdog that their adjustments were to standardize packaging in different markets to enhance production efficiency. The Consumer Council said retailers should still list the adjustments on the product's packages. Consumers are the ultimate stakeholder affected and the party to pay and agents have the responsibility to clearly state volume or weight changes of goods on the packaging or at the point of sales so as to promote product information transparency and protect consumers' rights to accurate Information. Some countries and regions have legislations that require unit prices to be displayed. But the Consumer Council thinks legislation might not be the most suitable practice for Hong Kong. Celine Chan, TBB News.